The Woman and Me by Britney Spears. Chapter 24. One of the people who was kindest to me when I really needed kindness was Paris Hilton. So much America dismissed her as a party girl, but I found her elegant. The way she posed on the red carpet and always had an arched eyebrow when anyone was mean about her. She saw that I had babies and that I was suffering from the breakup, and I think she felt sorry for me. She came over to my house, and she helped me out so much. She was just so sweet to me. Aside from that night in Vegas with Jason Trawick, it felt like no one had been sweet like that to me in ages. We started hanging out. She encouraged me to try to have fun for the first time in a long time. With Paris, I went through my party stage. But let's be clear, it was never as wild as the press made it out to be. There was a time when I never went out at all. Finally, with the kids properly supervised at home by capable caregivers, I did leave home for a few hours, stayed out late, and drank like any other 20-something. I heard nothing but that I was the worst mother who'd ever lived and a terrible person, too. The tabloids were full of accusations. She's a slut. She's on drugs. I never had a drinking problem. I liked to drink, but it was never out of control. Do you want to know my drug of choice? The only thing I really did accept for drinking? Adderall. The amphetamine that's given to kids for ADHD. Adderall made me high. Yes. But what I found for m more appealing was that it gave me a few hours of feeling less depressed. It was the only thing that worked for me as an antidepressant, and I really felt like I needed one of those. I have never had any interest in hard drugs. I saw plenty of people in the music world doing all that, but it wasn't for me. Where I grew up, what we did more than anything was drink beer. To this day, I don't like to drink expensive wine because it burns my throat. And I've never even liked weed except for the one time in New York when I broke my heel. If I just get a contact high from being around it, it makes me feel slow and dumb. I hate it. Do you know what Paris and I did that supposedly crazy night everyone made such a big deal about when we went out with Lindsay Lohan? We got drunk. That's it. We were staying at a beach house and my mom was taking care of the kids. So I went out with Paris. We were hyped up, drinking and being silly. It felt good to be with friends and to cut loose. There wasn't one thing about it that felt wrong. At the end of one night, I walked into the beach house, happy from my adventure and still a little drunk. My mother was waiting up. When I walked in, she screamed at me and we got into a huge fight. She said it was because I was wasted. She wasn't wrong. I absolutely was. But that wasn't a violation of some cardinal rule in our family. And on that night, I had had her babysit so I could go out responsibly without the kids seeing their mother under the influence. The shame I felt killed my heart. I stood there reeling and thought, okay, I guess it's forbidden for me to party. My mom always made me feel like I was bad or guilty of something, even though I had worked so hard to be good. That's what my family has always done. 
treated me like I was bad. The fight marked a turning point in my relationship with my mom. I couldn't go back to the way it was before. We tried, but it didn't really work. No matter how many fans I had in the world, my parents never seemed to think I was worth much. How could you treat your child like that when she was going through a divorce? When she was lonely and lost? Giving a person no grace in a hard time is just not nice. Especially when you can't take as good as you give. When I started to speak up and throw it back at them a little, God knows they were far from perfect. They didn't really like it that much, but they still held so much emotional power over me.